recreational level component without much efforts. Then came my first big goal, which was to become world youth champion. I thought that would be ultimate success and life changer to be called as a world champion. So I went to my first world championship in 2000 with a lot of expectation. And I even played well, but because of lack of experience in handling tournament pressure, I couldn't pull it off in the end. And I won my first silver medal in my debut world championship in Spain. But I wasn't happy. I thought I couldn't reach my ultimate success to be called as a world champion. So I decided to try the next year and again in 2001, I missed gold medal in a similar way and I won another silver medal. In my third attempt, I won a bronze medal in another 12 category and in my fourth attempt, I didn't even win a medal because I was so depressed after messing up a crucial game once again. I didn't even want to see any other medal less than gold. Finally, in my fifth attempt, with all the experiences of failures, I managed to become a world champion in 2004. And after a couple of again similar setbacks, I won my Grandmaster title in 2011. So moving on to my next ultimate goal to become a world women's champion. This is much trickier and harder because it, it comes every two years and it was a knockout format, which means one bad move or a bad day would keep me away from my goal for two years. So I was all determined to win the championship and become a world champion at any cost. In 2012, I reached semi-finals and uh, got knocked out. So I won my first bronze medal in a world championship. I remember when I came back, my dad said, you know, we missed a golden opportunity because it is not easy to prove again and again in a knockout format because it is just a matter of a day. If you fail, you fail. But I didn't believe it. I was determined. I wanted to win it at any cost. I again, in my next attempt in 2015, I again reached semi-finals. But this time I lost in tie breaks in a very heartbreaking way. So I was awarded one more bronze medal. But I pulled myself back and in my next attempt in 2017, I won another bronze medal, which means I lost in semi-finals once again. Then I was conferred with Padma Shri award in 2019. I thought would be a life changing moment and that's it. But then after a couple of days of celebration, again, life just goes on and goals get bigger and goals keep changing. So similar, so I wonder why do I need to go through all these hurdles when I had all the potential, when I was working hard, why can't I get it easier? So let me tell you, parallel to all these world championship attempts, I won many major titles in a much easier way without much efforts. But to be frank, I don't remember half of them. I literally had to recollect and collect them for the talk because failures teach us a lot more than success. And my biggest success is 
not the trophies I won, but the lessons I learned in my journey. I learned to not give up. I understood the fact that if only I didn't have had such tough time to win, I wouldn't have had interesting stories to tell and inspire others. Nowadays, whenever I fail, I tell myself that there is a longer and interesting story coming up towards achieving my goal. Mainly, as cliche as it may sound, success is a long journey. There is no one-stop destination to it. It changes in different forms, shapes and goals. So, embrace it, enjoy it and learn from it every single in every single step of your journey thank you